Hey everybody, it's Rock DIY here. Today I'm going to go over how to remove the door panel on a 2016 Land Rover LR4 HSE. So you have to start with removing this piece and there's a little pop it uh, type retainer right there. You can see it just clicks on and then to remove it, the trim tool, put it back behind it, and it'll pop right off. And then, it's kind of hard, you know, you may not be able to see it at all, but the bottom part of this uh, trim piece with the speaker in it is actually going into the door panel, so there's like a little piece that sticks in here. So for right now, I'm just going to take that off and leave this where it's at until I work on getting the rest of the panel off. Next thing I'm going to do is pull out this little circular cover. It's right here where the door handle is. And typically there's a little recess where you can get something small and thin in there and pop it right out. And then there will be a bolt or a screw behind that piece. Any one of these types of uh, tools will help you get the cap off. And this little cap has a retainer that keeps it there um, you could completely remove it if you want but there's no reason to and underneath the cap is a cross tip or phillips head screw a lot of the screws on the door panel are going to be a, a little recessed or difficult to grab so it's good to have something like a extension with a magnet on the end of it just helps prevent you from uh, dropping it numerous times on the ground the next step is going to be to remove these two pieces right here and underneath these two pieces are screws so you got to be really careful taking these off but there's a uh, metal uh, spring clip on the bottom and then there's a plastic piece up here at the top that just basically slides out. So the way I am going to do this is stick my trim tool underneath here, lift, lift up, and then in this case it just popped right off. And you can see there's a little tab right here, and then you got your spring clip right there. Go the same. So the same thing, spring clip, tab, but you also have these two little side tabs. And that's just, those are just there to keep the piece flush. And then what you have to do is remove that Phillips screw, that Phillips screw, and then these two over here as well. And those are deep, and so you need to use a long cross tip screwdriver. So I've got three of the four taken out. Just taking this uh, top one out. All right, so the last two things that need to be done is there's a cross tip screw in the door panel there, and then another cross tip screw here. And then the rest of it will be, the top portion is gonna have some metal spring clips, and then there'll be some nylon retainers that go around the bottom and sides of the door panel. The head of the magnet is too big to pull that screw out, so in this case, maybe smaller magnet or a pair of needle nose pliers. Two bottom screws are pretty long. Alright, so the next step is going to be removing the 
bottom edge of the door panel from the door. And the best way to do this is to grab it here and over on this side to at least get the nylon retainers to release. And then you just want to brace the door when you do it. The bottom and sides came undone. And so now it's just the top portion that's still holding on. Top will need to be pulled off the clips. So there is one more screw that you need to remove before you start pulling the uh, top of the door panel off the uh, spring clips. There is a screw right here and there's a little cover that goes over it. Just pry that off and oddly this screw is going to be a Torx bit screw. All the other ones are cross it. This one has to be a Torx bit. So the correct bit for this screw is a T20 Torx bit. Instead of completely removing this piece with the speaker in it, there is a connector right here. Push the tab down, pull out, so that's out. It is a very, very tight space. And there's speaker connector there. Another connector there. And connector here. right here is supposed to snap out of there my concern is that if I'm too aggressive I'd break it and have to buy a new one but that is the way to get it off and there we go popped out So all you have to do is rotate the cable out and then lift up and out. The connector for the puddle lamp is right here. You just take a tool, pull the lens out, and then just disconnect the cable. There you go, the door panel completely removed. Once you do get the door panel off, you wanna check and make sure that you do have, still have all of your plastic retainers because some of them do break off or stick to the actual door panel like this one right here. Last thing you may want to do, especially if you know you're going to be working on the window glass, is remove your switch so that you can actually move your window up and down if you need to. If you don't need your window switch, just leave it on the panel. To get the switch off, you can see right here. There's a metal spring clip. If you just push up on it, it'll come right up. So besides removing the switch from up here, this uh, module right here, uh, either you need to take the door panel and hook everything back up or remove these three torque screws and their T20s and then reconnect it on the door rather than taking the whole
panel to the door. Because even though I have the switch hooked up to the wiring, um, it doesn't work without this module being in place. I'm going to put these screws back on here just to make sure they go back exactly where they're supposed to be. So like I said, even though I removed this from the door panel and hooked it up, I still can't control the window going up and down. And even if I go over to the driver's side, I can't control the passenger side front window with the switch over there either. So this module here needs to be hooked back up and then uh, it'll give me control over the window again. So as you can hopefully see, I cannot move the window up or down right now. But if I put this control module back in place, connect it there, and then connect this here. Now I will have control over the window again. Okay. 